Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Gabby. Um, I didn't like my last eyebrow cover-up video that I did. I felt like it was a little bit sloppy. It didn't come out right for me. Something about it just wasn't sitting right. Maybe I wasn't doing it right. I don't know. But I was on Instagram the other day and I found a video or a link to a video. Lady I follow and her name is Taylor. Is it Taylor Graham? So I'll just insert her information right here. And I like the way she covers up her eyebrows. And she uses a different method. So she doesn't use glue. She actually uses soap and she recommended using this one. And so I went ahead and bought it. It was like $3.97 at Walmart, I want to say. And she also recommended a um, soap container just so it's like, um, doesn't get gross, as she said. Um, because if you do leave soap out, it, like things tend to stick to it and it's kind of nasty. And I didn't want that on my face. So I went ahead and bought this soap protector. It's 97 cents at Walmart. And this is like the last one they had in the section. And of course it's pink. So I had to get it. So yeah, I just wanted to do like a little quick tutorial and to test this out because my eyebrows are way thicker than hers. Um, so it might work for her eyebrows because she doesn't have like as much mess as I have. But yeah, I just wanted to film this, test it out, see if I like it. And um, I will just go through step by step on what she did. I'm gonna watch the video on my iPad. Okay, and I will definitely be linking, also be linking her information and the video that I watched down below, just so you guys can watch it too. Just in case I do like a horrible job and I end up with one eyebrow on the wall or something, something crazy. But y'all will have that information and definitely go ahead and check her out. She seems pretty cool and I like her makeup a lot. So yeah, go check her out. Okay, so she said the first step is to spray the water. I have like this bottle that I got from Walmart because yeah, it's like 97 cents. But um, spray, ah, no, don't get it on the iPad. That is not water resistant. So spray the water onto the soap. So now she's taking like a spoolie. Okay, so she just starts swirling the soap. Did I not do it right? And so after, you see how it's like a thick paste now, brush it upwards is what she's doing. My eyebrows hair so long, oh my goodness. Okay, and so she said to keep brushing the product, so the soap into your eyebrows until it's all stuck to your face and I don't know when to stop because I think it's stuck to my face, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna keep going until I feel like I absolutely need to stop. My arm's starting to hurt, I kinda wanna stop. So um, what she said is while the uh, mixture's still wet, you wanna like take something flat and just pat it down. So she's using a spatula and I'm using these like lash applicator thingies because I can't find my tweezers and I actually do not like this lash applicator. So I'm just gonna press that and make it flat to my forehead. That looks so weird. It feels so soft though. Should I start wearing my eyebrows like this? Look at how much thicker it is. Like what? Oh, she said press as hard as you can to smooth everything. Ow, ow. So now she says take like a translucent setting powder. Only translucent setting powder I have is the Kat Von D one. And I usually like to mix this with the Too Faced. So she said dip into the powder and start pressing it onto the brows. Okay, so she said after the powder is like pressed on, you want to let it sit for a minute. While we're waiting, we're going to get all the powder off my shirt and my face. Okay, yeah, it's been sitting on there. Not a full minute, but I don't know if she meant like a full minute, full minute, or just a few seconds because I'm impatient. And it's probably going to turn out bad because I'm impatient. That is a risk I'm willing to take. So if it does turn out bad, I just, I have a whole nother eyebrow I can do. I wonder how you get this off. But I mean, it is just soap, so I'm pretty sure you just like wash it off. I don't know, we'll figure it out and I will let you guys know. Yeah, so we're just gonna, she said brush off the excess powder, which is like around my forehead and right here. So we're brushing off, but she said do it lightly, which is something I'm probably not doing. Is that good? Sure. Okay, she's using like a cream contour and I don't have that because 
definitely don't know why I don't have that. So I'm just gonna take some of this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. Dude, this looks like it's brand new. Why have I not been using this? Is this too light? Pack this on, cause it's kind of like an orangey color. So hopefully it'll like block it out. So she said she's taking a brush and once she has her concealer on, she's like pushing it upward. Hopefully this works with the liquid. If it doesn't, then I will let you know. Cause I don't have a cream contour. Why don't I have a cream contour? That's weird. So I'm definitely going to let this sit for like a few more seconds and then try and blend it out. Did I let it sit for too long? Oh my gosh. She said push on it. And then she said like start just pressing it in. I'm gonna put a little more on because I feel like I messed it up for some reason. So I'm gonna do this again in just a second. So put that like that, press it. Looks pretty interesting. She said that a second layer is required. You go back in with the powder. And I'll just let it sit here for a few seconds and then dust it off, I guess. Dust this off again, I guess. I don't know if she dusted it off. So she said, now that you've done that second layer of powder, what you wanna do is go back in with the concealer again. And I probably shouldn't have done that second layer the first time, but she said, concentrate on like the darker areas. So if you can still see like the little dark pieces of your eyebrow, like, cause my eyebrows are black. And I feel like the front half of it is doing really well. And this is back half back here. It's horrible. Look, there's like little hair sticking up. What am I doing wrong? That's so weird. I'll try it on the other eyebrow to see if I can get it to behave. That is weird. I don't know if I like it. But like the soap method, I don't know. I'm not gonna get my thoughts on it just yet because I haven't tried the other eyebrow. So I'll try it again on this eyebrow and we will see what happens. So really quick, I forgot to film an outro. So the soap, it did work on the other eyebrow. I think I did do it wrong the first time. It kind of gave me the same effect. So the soap, it did work, but I feel like it will work better if your eye, if my eyebrows were thinner. So maybe I need to like cut them or something, but that would be it for the finished video. Those are the results. If you go to my TikTok, you could see where it kind of worked, but it also looked like a hot mess. So, well, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.